Hello everyone, my name is Anderson Dubok. I'm a cloud management specialist from Brazil. So today we're going to talk about continuous integration, continuous delivery, and a little of DevOps, right? Do you want me to be like in front of the camera, right? Okay, but I like to move around. <laughs> Make the camera follow me. Yeah, so this is New York, 1900, right? So where's the car? So the car is over there. There's another one over there. So this is New York, 50th Avenue, 1913. So where's the horse? So it's over there. That's transformation, right? So this guy here, Bill Roth, he talks about uh, how companies are embracing and winning on this new world and the five factors of success is timing the execution. On this five factor, the main ones are timing and execution because you have to embrace a window of opportunity. That was a real transformation, right? You have to, to be able to execute on, on the right window. So companies are talking about stuff like DevOps. So they're struggling, trying to make sense of that. They are like getting beat off, right? So it's little by little, you have a lot of stuff going around. So I'm going to dissect that. So we have a factory, right? So this like a conveyor belt. Software is like that. Whenever your software is on the shelf, is not being deployed, you're losing money. Right? So continuous integration is to make taking something like this to test, uh, uh, <clears throat> test, secure, test again, <laughs> build, uh, version. You have to make something like this, like a factor, like a pipeline or that. So whenever you're not deploying, you're losing money. Your software is on the shelf. So something like this. So whenever we are talking about DevOps, we have who here has played Angry Birds? Yeah, so we have this situation here. The developers are shipping code, right? They are bringing new features. The operations guys are trying to make stuff stick together. Put off that the fat pigs are the good guys, right? So trying to make things stay there. So each one has his, this role who needs to be able to execute that. So, DevOps is like an onion. We have like all these layers. The philosophy is to get things done faster, be able to embrace the business, right? We have methodology because it comes from Agile. Agile has like a lot of stuff and the methodology is going to support that philosophy to get close to the business. And we have practices. So that when, that's, is when we start talking about continuous integration, continuous delivery. And we have tools on the center of that. You cannot have DevOps and all those cool stuff of continuous integration if you don't have all these things tied together. So, because what happens is we have these little silos of automation that happens in the companies. So, we need to have like a unified vision how to tie those things together. So, because we have a lot of tools in, in our home that we can work well, with, right? So, we have these people who is way on the front there asking you for these new things, right? How can I operate with that? How can I use that? It usually they come like a, with a landscape from the CNCF. It's a lot to take off and it usually goes like this, right? Because they need to know what they need to do, not what they want. It's like, a, I'm from Brazil. I'm happy to be here in Vegas and I have to focus here, right? It's a technology uh, like a sightseeing whenever you try to go do this. So we need to know what my application is because I need a data center that is able to tie those things together, the development, the agile methodology for that, the IIS, the testing of those, all those stuff, like the infrastructure too, maybe a container as a service, maybe a pass, delivery, whatever, and ever, you need to monitor everything, right? So I have this like three tier application here does not mean anything, web, app, DB, it's a caching solution. What for? It's caching, right? Oracle, some SOA, uh, some old legacy systems, 
And the consumption layer for this one are the call center, the website, and the mobile app. This, is, this here is making consumptions, con queries go faster. It's good for the business, right? So that caching solution has a development cycle. The important thing when you're talking about CI-CD, you need to know how things are, where they are, and how long they take to go from one to another. Because from there, you're going to start to fill the gaps. So I have this uh, customer here that I work in 2014 to help them get embraced with something like that. So the developer was used to build on tests on local machine. They then ver version that to the Bitbucket, after that, they publish the, the binary on Nexus and go to the tracking solution, uh, I'm done. So the architect from the customer pull or download that thing, go to the development environment, try to install. It's like a static one, so it had a lot of trouble, like glue things together. It's never able to get to test or production. He goes, oh man, it's not working. Then he goes to another tool because he had two tools for planning and tracking. Right, because a factory, he is, who is a contractor who is developing the code. Tell, it's not working, guys. Wait up. And TFS is there because it's not doing anything. So what we did was try to tie things together, reduce, because you have to, if you look at Agile, it's lean in the way, right? We have to do that on process too. That's the entire reason. So now they are doing like this. They are coding the way they are. So now they are committing inside at home using GitLab. Now I'm able to trigger something, use Jenkins to, I don't know, do quality on my code. Maybe if I have a problem, do a threshold to see if I need to notify. Maybe, oh, it has a problem. It's not approved. I can put up some kind of bar. Now I can like automate the build process can use orchestrator. In that case, we used to test like it was a REST API that was being developed all the time. So it was really used to do Postman and then go to orchestrator and make that like a standard thing to do. And build the, the Docker image. Sometimes they want to do like Docker to make tests. It's not the, the full deploy, right? And I need to store that thing. Repository for the, the Java, the, it was a war file and the register for the Docker image. After that, we go to the continuous deliver deployment. What's the difference? One is manual, the other one is not. It's automatically, right? So whenever the guy is in Portuguese there, operação, so sorry, it's operation. So they were like using VRA to get those stuff together, provision everything, maybe call Ansible to do the configuration management. That's an important thing when you're talking about CI, CD, right? To maintain the state of everything. Use the orchestrator to do the DNS, backup, everything they need to do on the infrastructure side because that is important too when we are talking about CI CD, right? And maybe like I want to change my configuration management too because I don't know. I have several things. I want to like have a way to tie all those uh, knowledge in one place. So we had like evolution of that. They start like, oh, now we're going to onboard everyone. So we have like this, all these Jenkins going around. We can do Jenkins on code, right? But what they had is like a, a million Jenkins going on. I'm a developer. When I talk about continuous integration, continuous delivery DevOps, all I got was an API. And an API I can make things worse. So the way we see it, they need like something like this to be able to onboard the applications like a pipeline automation dashboard. So you can plug everything that we talk about on top of that, and you go like onboarding the applications. So you have control like a provider for those things, right? So if I have any book to recommend for you guys, this is a new one. If you're going to talk about Kubernetes and containers, it's free. The, the main one is not free. The, the third one is not free too, but there are good books. Uh, you want to take a picture? Sorry. Go ahead. I'm available, we can talk later. So that's my cue. Thank you guys, hope you enjoy.